I'm not satisfied with the Tasha K interview. I'm not satisfied with it. And, and I told her why. And I can say this because I reached out to Tasha K the same way I reached out to you, Kimmy. And when Tasha K's team called me back, I believe it was her husband. I'm not too sure. But I spoke with him a couple of times and I'm like, when is the next video? Is there more research that you all have done because um, something is not coming together? Um, you're leaving us in awe. We don't know what's next. Do you have re uh, additional research to support what has been said already? Where are you getting your research? I mean, what is, what is this? I said, this is my niece that's involved in this situation or whatever. We had, he and I had a conversation before I got off the phone with them. He said, oh, do you want to come to the show? And I said, no, I can't come in New York. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't come in New York. He said, oh no, we're not in New York. We're in Florida, we're in Fort Lauderdale. And I'm like, no, mm -mm. no, I don't think I need to be on anybody's show, but I'll just wait until the other material comes out that collaborates what has already been said it never did it never did i mean up until the point that i saw the videos i was going to watch some additional ones last night but i couldn't see any more after my niece i just i mean i'm a paid subscriber but i just did not want to see any more on that story so do you believe Chantel? And what made I, you believe her? What made me, what made, do I believe Chantel? Now I totally believe Chantel. And the reason why I believe Chantel is because, like I said in the previous videos that I watched, the research did not come together for me and others like me to a satisfaction or to where we were satisfied with the information that all had already been passed on. But I asked my niece about this research and what made me further believe it because my niece said to me, because I asked her, I said, where did this research come from? That she's, I said, Tasha Kingdom did a poor job, a sloppy job. What's going on? How could you be a part of that? She said, well, I did the research and I sent all the research to Tasha K. I said, you did the research. I'm like, oh, okay. Remember, my niece is highly intelligent. So I know if you did the research like you're telling me you did, everything is going to come out. So just sit back, Lorenzo, and wait on this material material that never materialized at least to my satisfaction and i um a family member family members who were viewing kimmy's world because i knew nothing about kimmy's world said oh you got to see it you got to see it this is a maybe a couple days after the airing a, a little longer after the airing um, you just got to see it. I just never had time to really just sit down and go back and look. But when I did, and I requested the documents myself, and I'm looking at Kimmy's world, comparing the documents that was presented on one platform and the documents that was presented on Kimmy's world, and to see all of the missed information that could have been, I don't know why it looks one way on one document. And it's totally omitted on, a, on the same identical document, same page. Some of the information is just taken out completely. So that oh. means to me my niece telling me that she sent her the research. So my question, niece, did you doctor 
up this document or these document, these 56 pages or how many other pages it is? Did you doctor up this information and send to her? Because if you did, you've taken out some things that were proven that bothers me. So what Lorenzo and Sweet Mom can talk about this as well, but um, Sweet Mom actually put these two documents together. And as you can see, there are paragraphs that are omitted. And you can screenshot this if you like. Just press pause and screenshot it and enlarge it on your phone or on your tablet, computer, whatever. And you will be able to see Clarence has handwritten in places where the names have been redacted. Victims' names have been redacted. And this is crucial information that I, I would say it had to be Kalila because she's the one from um, Lorenzo's testimony, she's the one that sent the documents to Tasha Kay. They're completely omitted. Do you have anything to say, sweet mom? Oh, yes. Um, although we're looking at these documents here, it, it actually is, is a bit worse. Um, Clarence went on to Tasha Kay's platform for, I believe, a fifth interview. I, I, I could be wrong. Um, he went out there a fifth time and he presented her with nine pages of a document. And on a live that I was doing, I decided to use Clarence's uh, documents and put them side by side. And I had somebody reading for me as I was looking through and we found more redacted stuff. When I tell you I will send you the stuff behind the scenes so you can see. You thought that was enough. That was nothing compared to there's actually one page that is missing almost everything. It, it probably has like one paragraph and the entire page is missing. And that was a receipt that Tasha K put on her platform. And while we were live, I'm looking at Chantel's receipts and I was in complete shock to see the blurriness of the documents that uh, Clarence brought over to Tasha, they were extremely blurry um, and a lot of things were redacted. Now, aside from us uh, speaking on the actual documents, I just want to confirm to you that what you're saying in reference to your niece not looking like she wanted to be there, I watched that interview at least three times. And I noticed that your niece stated after saying that she was the person that made him come to the show. She stated, you over here got me over here and you don't even want to say nothing. You ain't even telling nothing. So when she said that, I'm like, you literally just said that Clarence made you come to the show and now he's not speaking. Which one is it? Did you convince Clarence to come to the show or did he convince you? to come to the show. So it, that was a little confusing for me to hear her say, you had me come out here and you not even talking. Right, right. And you know, I heard the very same thing, um, Sweet Ma. I heard the very same thing that further uh, solidified what I was already thinking. Why are you there? You're not supposed to be there. Um, but I do know who she is and I know what he has done to her since they've been together. It's like he's a puppet master. Hmm. Changed her name and everything. Kalila is her name, not Kalia. Let's get no, no, that no. clear. Kalila. Right. And you know, I was talking with the family member before all of this took place. And I said to uh, this family member, I said, you know, I'm so glad that she's married because if she wasn't married, we would still share the same last name. And with that last name, everybody in the world would know who she is oh. because we all share that same last name. And I said, I'm so glad that she's married. I'm so, I would be so ashamed if anybody knew exactly who she was. Mm -hmm. But then I had to go back and think about what I was saying. I was like, you know what? Lorenzo, you're doing a disservice. I know it's embarrassing, mm -hmm. 